Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 6.5 from the chapter number 6. The problem is the 4-bit universal shift register shown in figure 6.7 is enclosed within an IC package. So this figure is for 4-bit universal shift register. We have to assume that this figure is enclosed within an IC package. So we have to enclose this circuit within an IC. Okay, so here we'll have 4 parallel outputs, 4 parallel inputs. Okay, and we'll have one clock input, one clear input. Okay, and we'll have serial input for shift right. That means for the right shift operation, because it is a universal shift register, we'll have left shift as well as right shift. This input for shift right. And here we have another input that is serial input for shift left. So we have to define these ports in the IC. Okay, so first of all, we'll have to define these input ports i3 i2 i1 and i0 then we have to define this output ports a3 a2 a1 and a0 then we have to define this clear input okay then we have to define this clock input the, depending on the select inputs s1 and s0 the function of the register or the operation of the register changes that is whenever we have s1 is 0 and s0 is also 0 there is the no change operation that means whatever be the content of the register it will be retained when s1 is 0 and s0 is 1 then we have right shift okay this is as part of operation of this universal shift register okay when s1 is 1 and s0 is 0 we have left shift Okay, that means whenever we have S1 is equal to 1, we have left shift and whenever we have S0 equal to 1, we have right shift. But whenever we have this S1 is also 1 and S0 is also 1, then we have this parallel load capability. So we have to enclose the figure 6.7 within an IC. Okay, and we have to draw the block diagram of the IC showing all the input and outputs include also pins for the power supply that means we have to also define the power supply that is pcc and ground okay in the second part of the question we have to draw the block diagram using two ic's so here we have got one ic okay here we have to use two ic to produce one 8 bit universal shift register so in the second part we have to use two such ic's given in part one to make a 8-bit universal shift register. In the third part, we have to find out how many ICs are needed to form a 14-bit universal shift register. Now let us draw the block diagram of the IC. Okay, so let me draw it here. So here we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. So this is a 16-pin IC. So this IC is nothing but a 4-bit universal shift register. So inside this IC package, we have to enclose this circuit diagram, this figure 6.7. So first of all, what we will do, first of all, we will define the PCC and the ground terminals. So we know that in a IC, the 16th pin is defined for this PCC, that is the voltage. And 8th number pin is for this ground. Z and D. Here we have this clear input. Okay, so we'll define the clear at this first port. This is suppose C L R. This is nothing but clear. Okay, in the second port, we'll define the S R I. S R I. This S R I means the serial input or shift right. This SRI means this serial write input. That means this serial input for shift write. Here we'll define SLI. SLI. Here we have written SRI. This is for right shift and this is for left shift. Serial input for shift left. Okay, this SLI is serial input for shift left. These are the two inputs. The serial input for shift write. This is serial input for shift left. We have defined here. Next, we have to define the input pins. So the input ports of the universal shift register will define here I3, I2, I1, and I0. So this is from figure 6.7. These are the parallel inputs. These four are the parallel 
inputs. So similarly in the right hand side we will have the parallel outputs, parallel data outputs A0, A1, A2, A3. Okay, these are the parallel data output. Okay, so these four ports are for the parallel data output. Okay, next we have to give here a clock pulse. So here we will write CL. Okay, so here we can see that we have this serial outputs. Okay, and here we have a clock here. Okay, this clock will apply here at this 11th number port. Then at the number 10th port, we will apply this select lines S1 and at this 9th port, we will apply here S0. So these are the register select, register select. So depending on this values of S1 and S0, the register will perform the operation of no change, shift right, shift left and parallel load. Okay, so this is the solution of the first part of the problem. So this is the block diagram of the IC. In the second part, we are asked to find out a 8-bit universal shift register using two such ICs. So in the second part, we have to draw two such ICs to make a 8-bit universal shift register. So the ICs will be similar. So this one is suppose register 1. So we have to make a 8-bit universal shift register. So we have to draw another 8-bit universal shift register. Let me draw it below here. So we have drawn these two ICs. Okay, this one is 4-bit universal shift register number 2. Now we have to connect these two ICs to make one 8-bit universal shift register. Okay, so what we have to do, we have to connect these common lines. That is, suppose here we have this clock line. We have to sort this clock to clock and we have to apply this to the clock input. Here we have clock input. Okay, and here we have, so S1 will be connected to here, here, okay, so this S1 will be connected here, next we have S0, similarly we have to connect here, okay, so connect like this, next we have to connect the clear input, so here we will have clear, so this clear will be connected to this, upper clear and and this lower clear input of the second IC. So this is the block diagram of a 8-bit universal shift register. Here we have 4 bits input I3, I2, I1, I0. Here we have I7, I6. This is I6, I5, I4. So that means we have 8 inputs here and here we have parallel 8 outputs A0, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7. So this is the block diagram of 8-bit universal shift register. So in the third part of the problem, we have to find out how many ICs are needed to form a 14-bit universal shift register. So for 14-bit, we will need 4 ICs because one IC can give 4 parallel input, 4 parallel output. So in the second part, we have seen that we need 2 IC for 8-bit shift register. So and similarly for the 12-bit universal shift register, we will need 3 ICs. And for 14-bit universal shift register, we will need 4 such ICs. So, for 14-bit universal shift register, we need 4 such 4-bit universal shift register ICs. Okay, that means 4 number of such 4-bit universal shift register ICs. That means this is 1. 4-bit universal shift register IC. Okay, we need 4 such ICs to make a 14-bit universal shift register. 
Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please put it in the comment section below. Also, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.